everyone welcome back for more exo zeros content today's video we're going to discuss my hero guide for seowa we're going to discuss her stats skills playability my recommended guardian stones synergy with other heroes overall rating and my final thoughts but before that if you want to see more exo zeros content please hit the subscribe button down below so here we are at the seowa's hero profile so she hails from the nation Vagabond, the newest nation that we have. So she is a, a light uh, elemental hero. Her position is support and her attack type is magical. So also if you can notice, she is she is tagged here as age 14. Um, I've seen a lot of comments regarding her age and a lot of people don't believe she's, she's 14 compared to the other um, heroes that are within her age group so me as well she's too mature for 14 she's too mature looking for 14 but anyway let's give her the benefit of the doubt she has high hp and she has average dodge and for her weakness she has below average attack below average defense low hit below average crit hit below below average block and low attack speed so if you notice she has a lot of low stats and or below average stats so that's actually okay because uh most of most of the stats that she will be needing will be hp and dodge so we go to her skills and her skill preview so for her passive she has first a3 so grants heal 100% of attack to an ally, they take damage and their health drops to 20%. So gain mana if the caster's health it has 20, 20% and the other one is gain mana if the caster's health is at 70% or more when triggered. So her only passive here is Spring Wind. When affected by Master's Footsteps, the caster grants an effect that increases Nullify Heal immunity and heal regeneration by 100% to all allies who are also affected by master's footsteps so in short you have to bring schmidt because master's footsteps is given by schmidt uh because i think i think the reason why schmidt can give this to you because schmidt has to have the highest defense um so he has to have the highest defense so that he could give everyone master's footsteps so again with in in playing seowa you really need to bring schmidt you cannot maximize her if you don't bring schmidt also for the for spring wind um increases nullify heal so uh when a character or a you character or a boss gives you nullify heal he as uh, she nullifies nullify heal so she cancels it out and also the, the the one good thing about this passive is the heal health regeneration by 100 percent to all allies who are affected by master's footsteps so again she's pretty good but there's always a but here she needs to be paired with mid uh, when you bring her let's move on to her s1 so for S1, heals all allies by 34% of own maximum health, cleanses all debuffs and damage over time effects from allies. So this is a very good skill because it scales on her HP. As I've said, it's good that she has high HP because once you scale that further, this also scales up because 30% um, of it's, it's a percentage of her total or max HP. So the higher the HP, the bigger, uh, what do you call this? The bigger uh, heal that you could give your ally. So it's called Sky Butterfly. It requires three mana and also take note, it's a burst skill. So any anything, uh, any mana that you have over three actually gives additional heal to your allies. So for her S2, it's called Wind Dance, so required is 4 mana, so it's an attack skill, so deals 255% damage to all enemies. So, again, a very good skill, an AoE skill for a healer or a support unit. So, let's take a look at um, her skills. So, her S1. 
actually my comment for this skill is she it it's it's, it's kind of long i've i've seen this skill already the animations is kind of long and uh um but it's actually very very nice very very well produced and we'll proceed to her s2 this as well is actually longer than than s than her s1 so very good very good um very good animation for her and very long as well okay guys um just a friendly reminder if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel you are you belong to the 10 percent that usually views my channel but hasn't subscribed yet so please support and subscribe to my channel we're here now and say what's playability so she is playable in your pvp main and your pvp tag uh, as long as you bring schmidt with her so for pve she is actually good she will be good in the, in the chapters because light is one of the things that we need in completing the chapters she will be good in holy dragon grounds for light day with schmidt again and she will be good as well with your squadron battle again as long as you bring schmidt so she is pretty much tied to Schmidt her whole life. So anyway, we don't have a choice. That is the mechanic of her skill and her passive. So for her recommended Guardian Stones, I would actually recommend um, two sets only. The first one, I would recommend your Nature Set effect. And you can actually awaken her with Nature Set because in the end, she would be given a max of 2000 HP. And plus, she'll be given a plus 12 for her dodge rate, which is not bad. But the, the one set that I would recommend would be your Fire Set effect. In which initially, she'll be given a total damage reduction. But once you awaken her, she will be given a maximum of plus 5000 hp so for her synergy with other heroes so again her biggest synergy would be schmidt for spring wind her passive um she will not really be useful to you without schmidt so might as well if you have her it's imp also important that you level up schmidt because you will need him as well in a team with her but once you have him with ha you have her with him she is actually a very good character also she is good in it, you should pair her with heroes that increase hp to further enhance her healing and to further enhance her survivability so for her overall rating one being the lowest and five being the highest so for her stats i would rate her a three again because <laughs> she only has two um strength and two good stats which which is her dodge and her hp the rest are below average or even low so, but her two good stats are the ones that she really needs that is why i put her at a three i didn't put her at a two next would be her playability and content so i gave her a four because she is actually versatile in the content she could bring her as a as a healer and as a support but again provided she is also always accompanied by schmidt it's like schmidt is her guardian because she's still a minor so she has to be accompanied by by schmidt so for her synergy i gave her a three because she is actually dependent so much on schmidt so that is why i gave her a three and also she will be dependent on enhancing her hp with other heroes uh, to further uh, to bolster her skill so for my final thoughts so her stats are on the low side but her two important stats again her hp and dodge are very good and she again she is dependent on schmidt to fully maximize her skills um she my guess is um if schmidt and her carve out a piece in the meta I think they could be a very good pair together. If you also if you pair the the, the duo with with a weekend Z on the the trio would be very good, much better uh, if you put them together. Anyway, guys, that concludes my video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. You all stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Warden out.